What's up everybody and welcome back to Flare Reviews. Tonight I have for the review of Stripes. This movie came out in 1981. It's going for an hour and 47 minutes. It is directed by the great Ivan Reitman. You'll recognize him in other films, which he's known from. Just to call him a name is Ghostbusters 1 and 2 in the also amazing Animal House. So this movie is a comedy war, so kind of a weird mashup overall. It is starring Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, and John Candy. So I, this movie came out a long time ago. I just found it about a month or two ago. I finally just got around to getting to do a review on it. So basically it's just these two knuckleheads in New York City who are kind of like the one guy's girlfriend leaves them. The other one gets, I think he gets fired from his job for something. And so basically they have really nowhere to go. They're broke. So it's almost like Officer and General, they got nowhere else to go, so they decide to join the army. And of course, they're not taking it serious, and they meet John Candy's character, Ox, and there's so many just hilarious, iconic scenes. Uh, there's iconic lines, easy Francis, and just like, nothing about this movie is serious at all, I love it, because anything when it comes to the military and like non-seriousness, it's, it's great. And honestly, like, Bill Murray and Harold Ramis together are a great duo. I wish they could have done a couple more movies together, but unfortunately, they're falling out, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, you had the strip club scene, which is hilarious. Them stealing the, <laughs> the bus thing and going to Russia. And then people having to go in. Well, you know, there are people getting captured in Russia and them taking the bus and going to Russia and saving them. The whole movie is just so ridiculous. But it is so damn funny. So I definitely recommend this movie if you haven't seen it. It is on Hulu right now. So if you haven't seen it, give it a watch. If you haven't seen it in a while, watch again. Because it's still funny as hell. Almost 40 years later. Overall, I'm going I'm to give this one an 8.1 out of 10. And I'll talk to you here next time at Flay Reviews.